Hey guys. Hey guys. Welcome back to my channel Makeup by Lydia Duku. So today we are going to do a simple quick tutorial on how to do your daily makeup wearable makeup not too much just a little bit of makeup on your face and also I love doing stories so tag along and if you're new here please remember to subscribe leave a comment down below for me leave a suggestion any video you want me to do any tutorial thank you for supporting me guys last week I hit a hundred subscribers so let's get going so first of all you have to do your eyebrows you have to comb them with a spoolie just in upwards yes just like that mm -hmm. then I'm going in with the black eye pencil David's eye pencil I don't know which number it is so you draw a line underneath just like that and on this side too mm -hmm. I have hooded eyes so that's why I'm drawing a line going like towards my ears not downwards towards my cheekbones so I just want to make my eyes look a little bit this space to be a little bit bigger so from the Chorachini Chana Chana I just work off facing downwards Kuja na pencil Apa mali ila nejui nishia Chara hapa Shikanisha na hapa Sianzia ukundele Anzia hapa Apa muisha Apa katikati sorry Follow the natural shape of your eyebrows Yup Connect Join the dots Sapa chini ni zakata remisha Dogo Shikanisha hapo Do the same on the other side Remisha hapo Let me just switch off the laptop Aya, haisi mami So tumachora Nataka kufu I'm trying to do a 10 minute video So I'll be as First as I can. So the story starts. It's the story my mama told my mom told me to tambo kusura fiki yake. Alipa mama wa miaka 50 hapo. There's a time kulipa kumitokea story ya watu ku toro sacrifices <laughs> wana kidnap wa mama wana watoa sacrifices wanapelea kwa msitu wana watoa sacrifices so one day my mom's friend who was selling groceries alikuwa na kibanda akiwa na rafiki yake walikuwa wanatoka wana, wanafunga job so siku moja Wakiwa along Naivasha Highway Is it called Nairobi? Naivasha Highway? Ama Nakuru Naivasha Highway Hiyo Highway Gari kwa si mama Wakasalimiwa Sasa wa mama So walikuwa nani juwa mezeka sana hawezi kidnapiwa So Wakasalimiwa wakaulizo wanjia Mahali suji njia ili Suji kumbuki ilikuwa njia kuenda wapi lakini with no time before wajue walijipata kwa gari na mefungwa midomo na mikono na migu na simu zime simu, simu, simu hazikuwa zimechukuliwa juu walijulikana juu ya simu simu hazikuwa zimechukuliwa so the funny part is they had been gone for they had been lost for like three days so hiyo mama alisema walikuwa mepedewa kwa msitu kuna msitu iko along 
I don't know if it's past Limuru ama before Limuru msitu refu huko ndo alisema walikuwa wamepelekwa walikuwa wamefungiliwa kwa miti na walikuwa wameshikwa na Nigeria so wakiwa kwa miti walikuwa wanataka kutolewa sacrifice so wakatolewa manguo wakati wakafunguliwa wakatolewa manguo wakaambiwa waende wachune kuni za kuwachoma you can imagine guys I don't know if it's real but we mama even walikuwa wanasema but it's true she had been lost for like three days so yeah na rafiki yake walikuwa ambao bado wamewekwa Celtic kwa muda na wakaambiwa wasijaribu kuitoa so yeye na rafiki yake huyo wao mwenye walishikwa na yeye wakaamua kujaribu kupotea kupotea huyo mmoja yeah we had it there na jaribu kutoshanisha hizi address mbili ziache kukaa like enemies so huyo mmoja akaweza kupotea akaweza kupotea lakini vile alikuwa karibu kufika kwa barabara akaona walikuwa wanajaribu kupotea vile the Nigerian guy was trying to make a phone call so the ladies wakaona ka chance ka kupotea ka kupotea lakini unfortunately huyu mmoja akajaribu kupotea lakini by the time anafika kwa barabara akaona na wakashikwa tena akashikwa akaweka kwa gari nyingine different sijui kwenye walimpeleka so i don't know if alipatikananga ama bado bado she is missing so now the tea is here get a minute so huyo mama mmoja akajaribu huyo mwenye alishindwa kupotea huyo akaona watauliwa akaona hajui huyo mwingine kama aliuliwa so waliona yetu akote kuni arudi nazo na walikuwa wanatembea uchi So akakota kuni akazipeleka huko mali kwa mwanangu azipeleke. Alafu sasa walikuwa kulikuwa na a big guy mwenye alikuwa anangojea kuja kufanya sacrifice. So the big guy came akaambiwa wao oh, ndo tulipata kufanya sacrifice. Akaambiwa aonekane oh, angalia venye anakaa. We, hiyo mama do you know chini kilimwokoa? ni matiti zake zilikuwa zimeanguka zilikuwa zimehang kama slippers so the guys to them their gods hayezi kubali sacrifice kama hiyo it was too shameful i don't know why at is their gods wanatakanga watu wenyewe matiti zao zimesimama so wewe kama matiti zako zimeanguka relaxi especially watu wenye wame breastfeed uko lucky sana 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 huwezi huwezi kidnapiwa huwezi sacrificeiwa so the lady came so even though huyo mama aliachiliwa it was just a, a, a short story it ilikuwa refu lakini nimejaribu ku shorten too I don't know if you guys will mistake us huyo msitu. I'll, I'll, give, I'll give you a preview of how that msitu inakaanga. So mnaambia kama umesikia story kama hiyo mara nimesikia kuna story nyingine ati huyo msitu usiku mnaonanga watu wanavuka barabara kama amevaa white, wengine kama amevaa black. I don't know if it's true. Nimesikia story kaza kuhusu hiyo msitu but I don't know if it's true. I've never seen anything. Lakini nakumbuka tukiwa primary kuna siku tulikuwa tunatembea tunaenda for tour guide tulikuwa tunakuja Nairobi so vile tulifika kwa hiyo msitu sijui hiyo msitu sikumbuki hiyo jina venye inaitwa hiyo msitu but iko along hii Nairobi na Ivasha highway tukaona head teacher amesimama ameombesha so mimi nilikuwa nashindwa ai kwani ni nini wanaomba kwani ni nini na happen akomana tukapita tuka hiyo msitu 
sasa sijui nini inaendelea kwa hiyo msitu so guys if you if you know the msitu na umesikia story kuihusu you can you can tell me hapo kwa comment ama story yote umesikia funny kuhusu msitu like me i remember when i was young ningepita mahali kuna msitu ni shout nisikie mtu mwingine anaongea huko nyuma the echo siko najua ni echo so hapo ndo nilikuwa nasema hata siendi shule kuna kitu kinanifuata every time ningesema ningeita jina yangu Lydia nisikie echo yangu kwa msitu ah uh, sitaenda shule by then i was in class 1 i don't know class 1 ama in nursery school uko shagoma ashambani uko kina ngopu na kuna kongo na misitu mingi Alafu ulikuwa unaenda shule ukiwa peke yako. Uwe na kuna kona hazishi unapika kona ya kwanza, kona ya pili. Haufiki. The time unafika shule watu wako parade. So that was my life. Tena remember pia kuna kamsitu kingine hapo karibu na shule kulikuwa anga na chui. I don't know if it was chui. Yeah, it was chui chita. Ilikuwa na inakaanga kwa kwa nini? Kwa 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 hizo kwa miti. Sijui kama ilishangwa ikauliwa but I only saw it once. Mimi niliona ni kwanza ni paka. It was a chui. Only God protected us during those days. Yaani unaenda shule unapatana na chui. Haikukuli. hizo misitu Let's blend this out Blend 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 I've noticed miniature eyebrows no no so I'm trying I'm going to cut them short kidogo hapa hivyo hizi kondesha hapa na concealer Let's see how this song turns out. ni kama zime zimechora kumekuwa kondo I'm trying to condition it I blend blend it before I cook okay. This is a simple look you can just do it not for any occasion but for like a daily wearable going to a job 